not so much probably kit presentation, but what it actually represents. And that is, as we said tonight, a significant amount of work and effort that's gone into not only the young men and women who were presented with their Australian rowing team um, gear, but also their families, their friends, their schools, their clubs, their CISAS, all the network that goes into supporting these young, wonderful people achieve their dream. And I guess this is a, um, one of those moments where that's actually becomes real. It's tangible. They're actually holding onto something that has our wonderful crest on their left chest and they can actually feel it, smell it and believe it's, uh, it's real. To finally make it after three years of trying and yeah, really looking forward to kind of getting out there and racing for the first time and really seeing what I'm made of and what I guess my whole team's made of. Like some really, really good people in the team so it'll be really, really nice to see how we all go. Um, I hope we go out there in the eight and smash it and um keep hold of the cup yeah again this season. It's really wonderful to uh, a, represent your, your country on a world stage and B get to uh, tour the world doing the thing that you love. Uh, we've come from Perth and to finally end up in Sydney here with the whole team is a cool vibe and getting presented with your uniform just tops it all off. My first underage team in 2002 which is interesting going to track our same place as what I think the world juniors are this year. One sort of the thing I've, I've really missed is being around a good team like this and, and you, I got the feeling straight away from walking in the door that it is um, back to a great Rowing Australia team and, and it's good to see the culture already um, starting in, in the young underage guys and I think it's going to be an exciting week.